Hey everyone, it's Mike. It's day 54, my post -op, day 32 post-op update. Uh, today I had my one month checkup with my doctor, actually with the nurse, um, one month after surgery, and everything was good. According to their count, I've lost 26 pounds or so, 26 and a half pounds since surgery, but I was wearing these pants, I had keys in my pocket, Sure, it could have been a half pound more. But uh, anyways, everything looks good, except uh, I was admonished from eating too big of portion sizes when I'm eating. Um, she seemed really shocked that I could eat two and a half eggs at breakfast sometimes. And sometimes I can, it takes me longer to finish it. But if the eggs are really soft and runny, it's easy to... I don't get really uncomfortable. I don't know what to tell you, but I guess either I'm healing really good or I'm just out of control. But um, yeah, I, I, she really didn't like that. <laughs> so um, that was the big negative, but everything else is going good. I'm keeping my protein, uh, I'm getting enough protein, I'm getting more than enough exercise, um, and I'm not having any more other complications or issues at this time. Um, diabetes has gone away, sleep apnea is improving, but it's still there. But uh, so I'm gonna start eating smaller portions. It's just kind of frustrating because you're, you know, they say 600 calories or 800 calories is normal, um, but you're not supposed to snack yet you know, if you're not going to drink water a half hour before and a half hour after, and you're going to get 64 ounces of liquids in each day, um, but don't snack, but get enough calories to at least get protein, you know, if you have one supplement, you know, like a protein drink. You know, I think there is, it's, I don't know if it's possible or not, but I think Either, either it is possible and I'm not doing it right, or you have to adjust something. I don't know. Maybe there's this, like, this tiny thin red line that if you stay exactly on this little red line, you're going to be able to um, get 64 ounces of fluid each day. Don't drink a half hour before and after each meal. Don't snack throughout the day. Have yourself three to five meals and make sure you get 70 grams of protein. Okay, so I've been trying this for a month, and um, my problem is that I put so much emphasis on making sure I get enough protein that I would eat more than e even when I start to feel full, I'd push myself a little more because I said, well, I'm getting protein, it's okay. Well, I guess that's a big no-no. So there you go. I made a mistake, and uh, so I'll try and fix it. Um, before going into this, I told myself that I would, because <laughs> I don't always, <laughs> wouldn't always do this in the past, obviously, listen to the doctors and the staff and all those people and follow all the post-op care because everything I, from what I gather, people who are successful follow all the post-op care and they really do it and that's where the success is. It's not in the surgery itself, it's in the follow-up and making sure you're doing everything. So as much as I was... Uh, a little bummed out, a little, a little uh, bummed out today about that. I'm gonna listen to her, and uh, the 30, the 350 pound Mike inside me, saying she's wrong. She doesn't know what she's talking about, <laughs> which is uh, sounds funny to say out loud. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to what they say, and I'm just gonna do it because I think they've been doing this a lot longer than I have. So, so that was that. Otherwise, things are good. So. Um, what else? That's it. Oh, oh, I lost, uh, I lost 10 pounds of lean body mass since before the, um, surgery till now. I was really hoping not to lose any, but she said that it's normal to lose some of your lean body mass, so, bummer. Um, I'll just have to start doing some weight exercises, you know, with weights and, uh, whatnot. Um... I think maybe trying to start jogging or running might help a little bit too. And since I'm fairly frustrated, uh, maybe at the end of tonight's walk, maybe I'll 
when we come home to stop, maybe I'll just continue and do an extra small loop jogging as much as I can, see how far I can go. Um, so that, that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, so that's what's going on. So I need to reduce my portion sizes. Um, I don't get full all the time, but okay. Sometimes I do, and I, 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 eat, I eat past it, which is, I know I'm not supposed to, but it was all in the name of protein, I guess, but no more excuses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my day whatever update on whatever post-op day after surgery. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.